Hello everyone, my name is Mitch, also named as Dr. Rice, and today we will be talking about, hold on a second. Oh, that's, that's, that's good water. Today we will be drinking in all there is to know about alkaline or ionized water. Alkaline refers to the pH value or how acidic or basic a certain substance is. pH is measured on a scale between zero and 14 with zero being very acidic and 14 being very basic. Putting this into context, the pH of stomach acid is around two, and the pH of Drano is around 10 or 11. Alkaline water has a pH between eight and nine, which is higher than your average drinking water, which has a pH of around seven. The main claim is that alkaline water can reduce or neutralize all of the acidic buildup within our bodies, which can allow you to live a much healthier life. Is this claim actually true? Well, that's what we're here to talk about today. First, let's talk about some different names for alkaline water because there's a lot of different names for alkaline water out there. Alkaline water is also known as ionized water, alkaline ion water, cathodic water, electrolyzed reduced water. You get the point. There's a lot of different names out there. So if you're hearing someone talking about alkaline versus ionized water, for all intents and purposes, they are the same thing. Thing. Ionized water is made using a water ionizer. This is essentially just a machine that uses some fancy chemistry in order to make the desired product. To fully understand this, we have to do a little bit of chemistry and I promise you I won't make it too boring. Water is made up of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. When combined, they form the lovely Mickey Mouse molecule H2O, which we're all quite familiar with. What a water ionizer does is that it uses electricity to strip one of those hydrogen molecules away from the water molecule. This then leaves the water molecule with just one O and one H making it something known as hydroxide. This leads to a buildup of free floating hydrogen molecules that then combine with one another to form H2, also known as hydrogen gas. Now I know what you're thinking, hydrogen gas does sound kind of scary, but I promise it's actually beneficial for us as humans but more on that in a bit. The overall compounds that form with the hydroxide and the hydrogen gas will actually lead to a rise of the overall pH of the water, making it alkaline or in that pH range between about eight to nine. One thing that is really important to know is that most alkaline waters that you find in the store are actually not made with a water ionizer. Store-bought alkaline water is just regular water with certain minerals in it in order to make the water more basic. Some of the electrolytes or molecules that are added are things like hydroxide of calcium, magnesium, sodium, and potassium. So instead of it being alkaline water, it's essentially just electrolyte water. So now that we know what an ionizer is, let's talk about how this idea of alkaline water or ionized water gains so much popularity. So the alkaline water industry as a whole will reach a worth of about $4.23 billion worldwide by the end of this year. According to one source, alkaline water is one of the fastest growing segments within the premium functional beverage industry. The reason it gained so much popularity is because of the overall notion that taking things into our body that are slightly more basic will actually counteract all of the acidic buildup within our bodies leading to a healthier life. There's one massive problem with this paradigm. Not only is this notion not backed by any scientific evidence whatsoever, but it's also in direct opposition to basic human physiology. The body is incredibly smart and keeps the overall pH within your bloodstream at a very narrow window. The average range of pH within our bodies is from 7.35 to 7.45. If it becomes too high or too low in either direction, and we're talking about changes less than one on the pH scale, it can have detrimental outcomes to our bodies and ultimately lead to death. Therefore, drinking water that is slightly more basic or eating food that is slightly more acidic will not have any effect on our pH levels within our bodies 
whatsoever. And in fact, by this logic, if you really wanted to correct all of the acid buildup in the body, you could just strug Drano straight from the bottle and see what happens. But I definitely don't recommend that. And please don't drink Drano, it's, it's, it's not good for you. So if these claims seem so outrageous, then how did it gain so much popularity? And the answer is through years of anecdotal evidence. Drinking ionized water will help certain people and improve overall health outcomes. However, the effect of this has more to do with confounding variables and correlation rather than direct causation. And you'll kind of see what I mean here in a second. Drinking ionized water will lead you to become consistently hydrated. Being hydrated at all times during the day can lead to better health outcomes. Drinking ionized water will also reduce the amount of pop or other sugary beverages that you consume, which again will lead to better health outcomes. People who take the time and invest the money in a water ionizer and start drinking more ionized water are the same individuals who really care about their health and are also likely to adapt healthier lifestyle choices overall, such as decreasing the amount of processed foods, getting more sleep, and getting more exercise. Again, all of these things have been known to improve health outcomes. Lastly, we always wanna mention the placebo effect because it is a real phenomenon. The mind can absolutely change and alter physiologic processes within the body. And if you don't believe me, think of a time that you got really, really scared in the last 10 years or so and watch how your body reacts. Also, scientists believe that the placebo effect is real in up to about one third of all cases. So I know I've sort of ripped on alkaline water as a whole at this point, but there is a little bit of evidence showing that pure ionized water may actually be beneficial for your health overall. And at this point, I do wanna mention that not all alkaline water is ionized, but all ionized water is alkaline water. So when I'm saying ionized and alkaline water, this is water that has been directly put through a water ionizer, not regular water that just has a bunch of electrolytes added to it. The main reason that ionized water actually has shown some promising health benefits is not due to the pH of the water itself, but because of that hydrogen gas that we talked about before. It was first recognized in about the year 2007 that consuming hydrogen gas within ionized water may have some overall health benefits. But what are some of these benefits seen? Well, hydrogen gas consumption in the alkaline water has been shown to reduce the effects of fatty liver. It's also been shown to reduce overall levels of inflammation by acting as an antioxidant. And some studies suggest that it may improve overall athletic performance. I'm definitely interested to see all the literature and research that will be coming out over the next couple of decades about hydrogen gas consumption in water because it does seem promising. The problem that we have with water ionizers though is that not all water ionizers will actually produce enough hydrogen gas in order to make a difference in your overall health. What I mean by this is there have been individuals who have tested the overall levels of hydrogen gas with common water ionizers that you can buy, and most, if not all of them, don't actually produce enough hydrogen gas that have been found in studies in order to make a significant impact on our health. In order to get enough hydrogen gas with ionized water, you would have to buy a water ionizer that's north of $10,000. I'll probably make a couple more videos on this topic in the future, so if there's something that I didn't mention that you want me to talk about in a future video, please leave a comment down below. If you wanna know exactly how much water that you should be drinking in order to optimize your overall health and to stay well hydrated, you might wanna check out this video over here. Thank you so much for watching me to the end and I will catch you all on the next one.